Tommy Lee Jones was born in San Saba, Texas. He's an eighth generation Texan, one quarter Cherokee with Welch ancestry. His father, Clyde, raised cattle, then worked in the oil fields. His mother, Lucille, was a policewoman, the county's first female officer. At Alamo Junior High in Midland, he was a fine student and a keen football player, and these qualities won him a scholarship to the prestigious St. Mark's School in Dallas. Though sport would dominate his life, he was also involved in soccer, baseball, horseback riding, and discus throwing. It did not prevent him from getting involved in literature and the most unjock-like pastime of acting. In his late teens, he worked in the oil fields and in underwater construction. This experience, combined with his ranching and horsemanship skills, have built the rugged persona we know today. Then came another football scholarship, this time to Harvard, where his roommate was Al Gore. Here, between 1966 and 68, he was a real football star, an Ivy League All-American. He joined the drama club, worked summer theater, and took off for New York to seek a career. There had been no acting classes, but he had appeared in some 40 plays. He was all about experience. 1970 saw Tommy's big screen debut as Ryan O'Neill's roomie in Love Story. He's appeared in more than 100 projects and has been nominated for or won more than two dozen awards for his acting. He won an Emmy Award for the Executioner's Song. Lonesome Dove reunited him with Robert Duvall as they played two former Texas Rangers. The show's detailed depiction of life in the Old West was hailed a classic, with Tommy, as Woodrow Call, being nominated for both an Emmy and a Golden Globe. He won an Oscar and Golden Globe for The Fugitive, portraying Deputy Marshal Samuel Gerard, relentlessly tracking down Harrison Ford. He also earned kudos for his performances in Coal Miner's Daughter and earned an Academy Award nomination for Best Supporting Actor in Oliver Stone's JFK. Jones played arch-villain Harvey Two-Face Dent in Batman Forever, Agent K in Men in Black, and most recently Sheriff Ed Tom Bell in No Country for Old Men, which won an Academy Award for Best Picture. While Jones' accomplishments on film are stellar, it's his skills as a horseman and rancher that bring him recognition in the Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame. Jones owns a 3,000-acre ranch a short distance from where he was born, where he raises cattle and polo ponies. Playing polo is his passion, and he's quite good. His team won the U.S. Polo Association's Western Challenge Cup in 1993. He even built a polo field in a pasture at his ranch. Each year, he invites Harvard's best polo players down to practice. And he even owns a place at the Polo Club in Buenos Aires and three other ranches in Texas. His wife, Dawn, has become one of the best female polo players in the country. Jones' notoriety as an actor has allowed him to bring attention to real, honest-to-goodness cowboys. As a rancher and horseman, he is helping to preserve our Western heritage and way of life. Tommy Lee Jones 2009 Texas Cowboy Hall of Fame honoree.